Jamaica's Attorney General has broken his silence on the ruling by the Constitutional Court last Friday. The court ruled that the opposition leader erred in using undated pre-signed letters of resignation to oust Arthur Williams and Dr. Christopher Tufton from the Senate. On Thursday, Attorney General Patrick Atkinson called a press conference to state that Mr. Williams and Dr. Tufton are still lawful senators and are entitled to retake their seats in the Senate immediately. So where does this leave Ruel Reed and Dr. Nigel Clark, the senators appointed to replace Williams and Tufton? The Attorney General says the court handed down a judgment that did not speak to the status of the two men. A declaratory judgment is a binding adjudication that establishes rights of and other legal relations of parties without providing for or ordering enforcement particularly when the declarations relate to constitutional matters or concern constitutional officers or institutions, it is expected that they will be complied with. In this case, the court did not go as far as to declare that Senator Williams and Senator Tufton are still holders of their seat in the Senate. Mr. Atkinson says the court did, however, outline a few recommendations that explains where they stand. If the pre-signed and undated letters of resignation and letters of authorization are null and void, then Senator Williams and Senator Tufton did not resign. In those circumstances, they remain members of the Senate and no vacancy was created in the Senate. Section 45 of the Constitution provides as follows. One, subsection one. Whenever the seat of any member of the Senate becomes vacant, the Governor General shall by instrument under the broad seal appoint to fill the vacancy of a person qualified in accordance with his consultation, cons with the Constitution for the appointment of a Senator and uh, it is not a consultation, it is advice. In making such an appointment, the Governor General shall, in any case where the member whose seat has become vacant, one, was appointed on the advice of the Prime Minister, act in accordance with the advice of the Prime Minister, and two, where the, where was appointed on the advice of the leader of the opposition, act in accordance with the advice of the leader of the op opposition. Whenever the seat of any member of the House of Representatives becomes vacant, the vacancy shall be filled by election in the manner provided by or under any law for the time being in force in Jamaica.